I'm down. Okay, um, alright. Okay, women role models. Um, I would say my role model would be my mother first, because she was very good at being a, a career woman as well as a mother and balancing that and, and um, making sure that we knew that her life was important um, outside of being a mother. Um, other role models. I guess any woman that uh, is really good at demanding what she wants out of life and getting that, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> That's what I aspire to do as well. My favorite band. Uh, I have a lot of favorite bands. Um, hmm, I think, let's see, this last summer I was obsessed with the Staves. They're fantastic and uh, so I listened to a lot of that. Um, I think when we're on tour we end up obsessing about different groups at different times and kind of just listening to whoever nonstop. Uh, I've been listening to the Cactus Blossoms a lot too because they're coming out with a new album and it's really good. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of all over the place as far as genres and style, but I'm always like a sucker for harmonies, so that keeps me interested in music. <laughs> I got involved in the music scene uh, late in life. Um, I was a classical music person, so I, I started playing music when I was, you know, four, playing piano and, and brass and singing my whole life, and then um, and didn't really get involved in playing music in the scene, in like a rock scene, until I was in my 20s. And that's when I joined Cloud Cult, and so they were actually my first band. So, yeah, kind of weird. Uh, and then from there, I... I really branched out and got to know a lot more people from that. Uh, they had been around since 2001 and I think I joined in 2009. Yeah. So so yeah, they were pretty well established um, and I auditioned, they were looking for a, a multi-instrumentalist, someone who could play brass and then also play keys and also sing and um, kind of fit perfectly with with what I what I could do, so then my addition. Uh, my role in Cloud Cult. So I play in Cloud Cult. Uh, that's my main band, and um, I play brass, so French horn and trumpet, and I also play keyboards and uh, and sing, and sometimes accordion and sometimes drum. Um, not at the kit, but just hit a drum. <laughs> um, so that's my role. It's kind of taking all those pieces, whatever needs to be played. Um, I also do a little bit of music direction when it comes to um, our acoustic stuff. Uh, as the, the woman at the piano, it kind of is easiest if I'm doing some of the directing of the group. Uh, I believe that sexism uh, is still very prevalent in the music industry, <laughs> clearly. I feel like I notice it when a band I play with is being evaluated it always seems like the guys are getting rated on their playing and the girls are getting rated on their looks. Um, I've noticed that in the past when we've met different managers or booking agents or people in the industry in the na around the nation is that um, they go around and say, ah, oh, great plan, yeah, yeah, good job, man, yeah. They're like, oh, you looked great up there. <laughs> it's like, oh, cool, how was my playing? <laughs> That's actually what I care about. It's a really interesting thing. So that's unfortunate, it's it's out there. Um, but I think the more women that are out there playing music and um, hopefully something will change. Yeah. Um, I, practiced, uh, I practice piano probably um, hmm, about five times a week. Um, I started playing when I was four and that's when I was in a really rigorous routine of practicing every day and keeping up with it and then played in college as well and so still to this day I, I play classical music quite a bit and then I play band songs and get through all those and feel good about that and, um, and then play a little for myself. I've done some, some major national touring, um, uh, a lot with Cloud Cult and then I also played with Jeremy Messer Smith quite a bit uh, when we did a national tour last year. Uh, touring can be exhausting. Um, it can feel like you do the same thing every day. <laughs> uh, it's just a new city, but it's the same routine. Uh, and there's something comforting about that routine. Um, you get to know your bandmates like family, which is a really cool thing. Because there's not that many chances in adulthood to have those sorts of bonds and those relationships in that way. Um, it's like your best friends, you know. <laughs> so that's that's a really 
beautiful thing about it. Um, but you're constantly exhausted because uh, you stay up late and then you drive through the night and you're sleeping on a different bed and then you do it all over again. Uh, but it's, I wouldn't change a thing. It's really fun. Great way to see the country. Great way to connect with old friends that may live on different coasts and um, yeah, again, great way to just build relationships. Um, yeah, generally, uh, with Cloud Cult, when we're on a tour, we, we do generally play the same set every night. And if you can believe it, I, it doesn't get boring. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Because of the many players and the many um, just changes in room dynamics and people in the audience and their reaction, every night feels like a new night even though you're playing the same music. Um, so that's good. And then with, with Jeremy's band, we, um, we would change it up here and there, um, which, yeah, again, felt, felt fresh, but there really isn't any need. For whatever reason, it just always feels, feels fresh and feels good. Um, never get to the point of being sick of the songs. <laughs> you. Uh, yes, yes, we have arguments, we have discussions, we, uh, yeah, I think that's part of having that whole family relationship and in your best friends, conflict will arise and then you try your best to, to deal with it and to overcome it. So the next day it's it's good and you're at a clean slate. We try in Cloud Cult to really manage our relationships and share everything and be very open and keep the communication lines open. And I am super thankful for that. I think, I think it keeps us healthy. <laughs> a healthy organism. <laughs> Hmm. Um, the men in uh, Cloud Cult do not treat the women differently, and I like that. Um, I feel like we are all equal. We all haul the gear, we all set it up, we all know how to um, uh, uh, run cables, we know how to wrap cables, we, we do it all, and, uh, and I think that's important. We want to be treated the same, and we are treated the same. That's good. Yeah. Shannon and I haul the bass drum and the, the bass amp just like everyone else. <laughs> so it's good. Um, I would say the only way we're treated differently is um, sometimes by the uh, venues. Um, sometimes the men in the venues have uh, less experience perhaps with having women around and so most of the time it's assumed that we're the merch girls, <laughs> which is really <laughs> terrible. And then we kind of have to prove that, no, nope, we belong here, we know what we're doing and we're a part of this. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it um, happens sometimes with Cloud Cult and definitely happened with Jeremy Band. But that's just the nature of, of old ways, um, what they're used to, and we kind of just have to break those norms and show them that women know what they're doing. <laughs> Just the same. And <laughs> okay. Um, I started a music school a year ago and uh, truthfully I always wanted to start a music school. Um, even when I was really young I thought this was something I wanted to do and uh, it was only last year when I was ready for some touring to stop uh, that I was able to kind of put all my energy towards this. and. It's been great. I, I've always loved teaching and I'm also really into arts administration and, and giving an opportunity to, for more students to learn music in a community uh, and so far so good. One year in, things are good. We have some classes at the school. We haven't had a whole lot just because it's been year one but we're hoping to expand on that. Um, so far it's been some songwriting courses and some guitar classes and uh, we're looking to add some more rock band kind of things where we can um, pair kids up, kids, teens, whatever, uh, to, to form some rock bands. And, and maybe it's all girls, and maybe it's girls and boys. Um, I've been really thinking about that and trying to decide what would be the best balance. Because there's something that can happen when it's all girls in a, in a collective, which is what you guys know all about. <laughs> it's a really powerful thing. I teach. Um, I teach piano and I teach uh, French horn and trumpet sometimes and um, that's about it. Mainly piano. Mainly piano, that's what I uh, am most comfortable with. Uh, that's what I got my education in. So uh, that's what I do a lot. And, and mainly it's classical piano but there's a lot of, um, obviously I bring a lot of the music that I normally play into it so if you want to learn Adele I'm all about that. <laughs> music education is so important, it, 
gives you this other voice when sometimes you're young you don't have an outlet for all the um, emotions you have at that time I feel like it's an outlet that we all deserve uh, I know I used it a lot when I was a teen um, even playing just the piano by myself I felt like it was a really great emotional outlet and I can't imagine how great it is to actually have like a group of girls to play in a band together it would just I if I could do it over I would do exactly that <laughs> instead I did it in my 20s and 30s but <laughs> we all get it out somehow so. at our school we probably have 50 50 males and females um, uh, even the starter pianists are, are pretty evenly split. Um, we also have a lot of interest, yeah, it actually doesn't matter the instrument, whether it's guitar or piano or voice, it's split down the middle, which is pretty great. Um, we have one bass guitar student and it's a woman, so <laughs> I guess. Uh, typical age for our students um, is probably in the age range of 7 to 12, so a lot of elementary school for starting an instrument and then we hope to to help them grow into whatever instrument they choose in the end or whatever direction they want to go. Um, all of our teachers are are active in the music scene and so they play in funk bands and they play in old country bands and they play classical and they play jazz and they play in improv ensembles so so it's nice to know that um, whatever direction someone wants to go we can support them in that. <laughs>